Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about BJU's English 3. This is the newest level 3. It's the third edition. It's just been released. I don't even think BJU has released the video portion until July. If you're interested in seeing more about their English 3 and a flip through, then stick around. All right, so I bought both the English 3 and English 5 from BJU. So I'll be doing another video on the level 5. I've never used any curriculum from BJU. Um, so this will be my very first time. Um, I got a lot of questions to do a video on it and do a flip through. So full disclosure, I haven't used it yet. So I will give more updates and more of my opinion once we get into our school year and we start using it. This was a last minute addition to our curriculum plan. I saw my friend Nikki post about BJU and my eye and I just had to get my hands on it. So this is a writing and grammar um, student workbook. So they do have like a whole package where there's a teacher guide and there's test. And so that is like the you teach it method of BJU or there's a version that hasn't released yet on BJU's website. It's coming in July where they teach it. So I think your student needs like this book, but then they teach the lessons for you. So because we use so many other language arts resources, I don't need this to be like super crazy in depth. Um, I chose not to get the teacher's guide. I'll link a sample of the teacher's guide down below. It's from BJU's website. You can see what it is. I mean, the biggest thing to me is it has the answers in it but for like English I'm I'm pretty good at quickly scanning through it it's unlike math where you like need to match up the answers really quick so if you want an answer key then you need to get the teacher edition but other than that on the student pages it seems to me that it gives enough direction of how to complete the assignment especially the writing assignments it really breaks it down like step by step in the writing process so really the only thing i feel like i'm missing out on is the answer key and so that's just something i'll have to make a decision on if we keep using this into higher grades if i want that answer key um, my kids are pretty independent as well. So this to me, because it's going to be at their individual grade levels, this is something that they can do independent of each other. They can sit down, work through a lesson because you basically read the directions and complete the problems. Uh, because I don't have the teacher guide, I don't have like a table of contents in the student book. But I think at the bottom, I think there's 180 lessons. So that is pretty standard for, I think, BJU's curriculum. Unlike, you know, the Good and the Beautiful's 120 lessons, they have quite a few more lessons. And there are 14 chapters. And it alternates from, like, grammar practice to a writing chapter. So you'll have a whole chapter on, like, grammar and parts of a sentence and things like that and then it will switch to like a section on writing. So what's good is your kids are kind of getting a mix of different things. Now again, we haven't used it. Um, I'm thinking that each school day they'll complete one lesson. So here's an example of a lesson. So this is lesson one, chapter one, sentences. It talks about a sentence. They have um, some problems to do. So page one is five problems. And then the back of it has a little like draw a picture thing. So that would be one lesson. Then the next day, the first page has 11 questions. Back page goes to 22 questions. So one, one page front and back is a lesson is what it seems like for like the grammar sections. Now we get into chapter two. Now we're switching to writing. So this is writing a sound poem. And so they're going to learn about writing poems. It gives them a reading of a poem. It tells them um, to look at pictures, like different things that it's going to break down. So it's giving them like an example of a poem. It's going to ask them questions. It's going to talk about sounds in poems. Um, you're going to underline like rhyming words. And then you're going to go through the writing process. So every writing um chapter has this different writing process. So they're going to learn how to plan, draft, revise, 
proofread and publish. So I really like that kind of breaking down. So as you can see now, we're on the plan of their prom. So this is where I think it really can be more independent because it's walking them through each step and it does this through all the different writing assignments. I'm gonna skip ahead, lesson 41. We're talking about action verbs. What I'll try to do is I'll try to get like the table of contents or scope and sequence posted so you guys can see everything that's included in like one single snapshot. I can't find it, but sometimes it will have a passage from a book and then it will tell you what book it is. So if your child is like interested in that book, you can purchase it or get it from your library. So I thought that that was super cool as well, but now I can't find those. There are reviews at the end of each chapter, a little chapter quiz review again you won't have the answers unless you have that teacher guide so just keep that in mind um at the back there are also a couple lessons on like internet safety study and research skills um which i thought was really good i wish it was more in the beginning but i think they do like a research writing assignment so important like life skills as well are included in there. It gives them some safe uh, websites to search on. Uh, it teaches them about like credible sources. Yes, yeah, so the very last chapter is writing a research report. So, oh, here's an example. So literature link. So there's an excerpt of the book and then it tells you the book itself. So if you want to get that book, you can get that. Um, so writing a research report, it tells you about a research report. And then again, it goes through the different steps of writing a report in that same process and then they just go step by step. That is the kind of overview of English 3. At the end of this video, I'm gonna do a flip through so you can see everything that's included in English 3. If you have questions, leave those down below. Now here's the flip through, I hope you guys enjoy. The days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too
could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid And 